Welcome back to my Let's Play for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It looks like we're almost done here. After all, how much more could there really be left at this point? We're in the Chamber of Secrets itself. Even if this is a bit of a maze, but... I mean, I'll assume we'll just have to search for, like, free stuff in here, because, let's face it, I'll take whatever free stuff I can find at this point. Looking for free stuff. Any more free stuff? Hidden in the torches? Yeah, why would you hide a wizard card in the torch? I don't know. I'm assuming it's a rare one that I don't have, though. Um, because I could easily get the others. Go with the five cast. Let's face it, if it instantly kills it, all the better. Oh, it can take one more, huh? I guess we got a critical hit that one time. And does everything down here use stun? It seems like a lot of enemies around here spam the crap out of it. It doesn't bug me too much. It's not like their attacks really hurt. It's just the principle of the thing. Like, they're making me waste time. Like, don't make me waste time. My time is valuable. And you were not. Well, we got pepper-up potion. That'll come in handy. Well, now, let's see. That's just a big circle. Nothing to steal there. I mean, it figures. I mean, I'm not expecting to run into a lot of free loot in the last area. It would be nice, but not necessary. Um, we'll probably be going back that way. I mean, this looks like it's a loop. And loops always got to end at some point. Ooh, a car attack combo. Sweet. We just go back around. Yeah, I'll bring it around town. Ooh, another famous wizard card. Sweet. Ah, shoot. Well, we could try and run. Run like, you know, the devil's chasing us. Ooh, a door. Well, now. So there's only one thing to do. Go inside. Well, they were rare cards. I guess. Well, I got two copies of that and this. Darn it, is there like multiple copies of some cards floating around here? I don't think I can get anything from those snakes. They're a bit too far away, after all. There's Guinea. I hope she's not dead. Is there anything worth picking up around here? And gosh dang, you ugly. How can anyone think that's the greatest of the Hogwarts founders? I mean, look at that! He's the ugliest man I've ever seen! Can he please wake up? You can't be dead! She won't wake, but she's still alive. If just barely. You're Tom Riddle. Are you a ghost? I'm a memory. Kept alive for 50 years in the diary. Quick, we have to get Guinea and get out of here before the Basilisk comes. He won't come until he's called, and we're not leaving. I've been waiting so long to talk. Don't you want to know how Guinea got this way? It's because she truly opened her soul in that diary, and her soul is exactly what I needed. She wrote, and I wrote back. I grew strong on her secrets, so I gave her back some of mine and controlled her with them. What do you mean? Guinea opened the Chamber of Secrets and released the Basilisk. She left the messages, and she didn't even know she was doing it. But she became suspicious and tried to dispose of the diary. I was so happy when you found it. So I showed you how I framed Hagrid. Everyone believed me except Dumbledore. He let Hagrid come back as gameskeeper. And he watched me so closely I could never open the chamber again. So I left behind my memory in a diary to someday complete Slytherin's noble work. Well, it didn't work. Everyone's still here. And when the Mandrake potions are ready, your work will all be undone. Mud bullets aren't my targets now. You are. When Giddy had my diary, she wrote in it that you were looking for the hair. She wrote all about you and about the Dark Lord Voldemort. She was completely under my control, so I made her write a final message on the wall and come down here. 
I knew you would follow. I want to know how you defeated the greatest of all Dark Lords. How you even know of him? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. I began to use the name when I was very young, to inspire fear and dread in the hearts of my enemies. You see, I am Lord Voldemort. It's the name that would suit the greatest wizard ever. Flight from Death? That's the most fitting name you can find for the greatest wizard ever. Like, not Conqueror of Death, not Destroyer of Death. You know, just flee from death. Gotcha. Besides, you're not the greatest wizard ever. That's Albus Dumbledore. And this guy next is going to be me, because, you know, I'll surpass him. We'll see. You survived the last two times we met in your past and my future. I want to know how. I know why you couldn't kill me. My mother died to save me. Yes, yes, that is a powerful counter charm. There's really nothing special about you at all, is there? We'll see about that. Wait, my wand, it's gone! Ah, oh, you mean this wand? Well, at least Fox gave me a hat. What was that? That must be Fox. And that's the sorting hat. This is all that Dumbledore sends his greatest defender? <laughs> oh. Aid me, Slytherin. Greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Oh no, we're all dead. We saw its eyes, guys. Oh wait, it's just a video game. And it's been blinded. Okay, time to fight it. Ignore the bird to get the boy. Sorting hat, help me, please help me in this greatest hour of need. Ooh, I have the sword of Gryffindor. It looks like a toothpick. Thanks, Fox. Let's see, car attacks. What can I do? I can't do that. Let's see. Don't have all the pieces for that, or that, or that. Okay. That's cool and all, but not particularly useful. All enemies don't want that. Let's see, that ain't gonna help either. Puts any to sleep. I don't think that's gonna work on the basilisk. Darn. That's a cool effect, I guess, but I don't even know if this thing gives experience. Oh, we can pass the protection spell on ourselves. I'll take protect. Boom. I'm protected by the powers of volcanoes. That's just weird. Well, 56 damage. I'll assume it would have originally been higher. Now let's see. Let's just um stab it. I wish I had an attack buffing spell though. Just try and poison a phoenix. Are you crazy? Can't. Oh, he did match them. Do it. Interesting. Well, let's just try and cut this guy down. I would try to help you out, Fox, but I'm kind of busy trying to attack it here. Since I'm the only one doing real damage. Besides, it's not like the immortal phoenix can really die. At most, it's just inconvenience for a few turns. Darn you. Well, I'll just take the poison damage. I mean, we're so close to the end at this point anyway. Come on, one more. One more good hit. This is one lucky basilisk, man. Come on. Just die already. Just let me cut your head off. Got him. Oh no, I've been bitten! Its fang broke off in my arm! I can feel its poison! Thank you, Fox, you tried your best. Y'all done for, Potter. Even that stupid bird is crying. 
No, I feel better. I'm being healed. I'd forgotten. Thanks, tears can heal anything. The diary. It doesn't matter, Potter. I still have your wand. And I still have Jodrick Gryffindor's sword. I guess that technically would work, since, you know, he probably got the Basilisk Venom on it, but he does use the Fang technically in the books, if I remember correctly, so plot change ever so slightly with the details again. I suppose in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter that much. Well, let's get out of here. Um, where am I? Kenny, it's Harry. Everything is going to be all right now. Yeah, I, I know. Don't worry about it. Just, just try and fix up your face. It's hideous. Seriously, what happened to her face? Like, that portrait is so ugly. Why are we looking back at this? What, another basilisk gonna pop out of its mouth? And how'd we get past the rocks? Harry, get it, you're safe. Let's get out of here. Hold on, Fox is going to pull us up. Good thing that thing can lift heavy loads, man. Harry, what happened? Vasilis is dead. And Tom Rowe was the young Voldemort. He's gone, too. What's up, Vasilis? Who's Tom Riddle? For that matter, who am I? The one backfire erased Lockhart's memory. On the plus side, he doesn't know who he is, so he talks about himself less, but he's still an idiot. Maybe less of an idiot, though. Kind of impressive you can do that by erasing your own memory. Okay, you're alive. I'm so almost hoping you'd join me here as a ghost. Um, what a nice compliment? Look, I think Fox is trying to lead us somewhere. We'd better follow. Professor. There you all are. You seem to have got yourselves into quite a bit of trouble. What's wrong with Professor Lockhart? He kind of erased his own memory. Hillary, come with me to the hospital wing. Children, Professor Dodor is waiting to deal with you in my office. And where's her office? Oh, we're just gonna go right into it? Okay. I thought we were supposed to go to Professor Dumbledore's office. Pretty sure that happened in the book, didn't it? No, oh, whatever. It's been a while since I've read, so this may be correct. But I'm guessing it's probably wrong. It started when Guinea wrote in this diary. It belonged to Tom Riddle, who became Voldemort. He took control of her. Yeah, yeah, he did. Kenny, I've told you never to trust anything that you can't think when you can't see where it keeps its brain. What a weird line. Professor Dumbledore! Kenny should be should checked out in the hospital wing. She won't be punished. She was being controlled, after all, but you might want to see a doctor about that. Possession. Terrible thing, my dear. Hopefully it won't cause you know, to grow tumors in your brain. It happened once, I think. Ah, oh, whatever. Well, you'd better go with her, Harry. You stay behind. I want to have a word with you. Well, now, a word about what? It's not like Tom compared himself to us here. Once said you'd be expelled if you broke the rules again, but. Under the circumstances, I take that back. You'll be given special awards for services to Hogwarts. Ah, it's Dobby. So you've come back, even though you're suspended. Actually, the governor's called me back. They decided to ignore your threats. Hagrid's reinstated as well. So you've stopped the attacks. Who was the culprit? Who is Voldemort again, controlling Guinea Weasley through this diary? Dobby has seen that diary before, Harry Potter. Oh, bad, bad Dobby. It's fortunate that the truth came out. If Ginny took the blame, think what would have happened to her father and his non-magical folk protection act. Don't you want to know where Ginny got that diary, Mr. Malfoy? Why should that matter to me? As you gave it to her and flourished in blots when you handled the books in her cauldron. Prove it, boy! 
Oh, we can't, but if any more of Tom Rill's possessions show up at Hogwarts, I'm sure Arthur Weasel will find a way to trace them back to you. Come, Dobby, we're going. Here, you'll want this back. <laughs> yep, gave him a diary and a sock. Why would I want this filthy thing? Come, Dobby. You gave Dobby a sock! Dobby is free! You cost me a man-slave, boy! You will not hurt Harry Potter. You will go now. Oh, we only get to watch him throw Malfoy down the hallway? Gosh darn it, that would have been sweet. Just throw him out the room, like right through the door. Seemed like the least I could do. Now we have a special banquet to go to. The magic potions are made, so everyone will be there. Before we go to the banquet, there's something I would like to, you to have. The new Harry Potter famous witches and wizard card. Thank you, Professor. Oh, joy. I got a card with myself on it! Because that's definitely what Harry Potter would want. A character that hardly ever uses his fame for anything. Well, whatever. Happy endings all around, I guess. Darn hiccups. They're really getting to me, man. Well, that's the end of this game. I'm gonna have to find something else to work on the Game Boy Color to finish off the month at this rate. Actually, I, there, there is no doubt about that. I'm gonna have to find something else. I'm just not sure what. I'm sure I can flip through my collection, though. I've got options, I'm sure. Question is, are any of them, you know, any good? Quite a few special thanks there. Callan Robinson? Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! Hmm. Quality Assurance Department. Kinda long there. But whatever. EA? Oh no. Evilest company ever. Ninja? Second, I thought it said ninja. Huh. Scott Johnson? I wonder if he's related to Robinson in any way. Yeah, I don't know why that makes any sense. I thought there was another Johnson we saw there. Something. But probably just, you know, thinking of another game. Well, that's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the Game Boy Color. Till next time, then. See ya.